Well, we finally did it. We ordered our new wall hugger recliner love seat from RecPro.com. It came in two large boxes by FedEx and only took four days to get here. All the components were well packed and protected by some strong cloth bags. Here's what came in the boxes, two recliner bases and two recliner backs, along with some very simple instructions on how to put it all together. Our first thought was, how are we going to get these puppies through the RV door? We only had a 22 inch clearance to get things in. We figured that the recliner backs wouldn't be a problem and they weren't. The recliner bases were a little bit different. After a couple of attempts, the recliner bases went right in. Just a matter of trying different positions. Each of the backs have two sleeves that fit onto the recliner base post. To install the backs onto the bases, we pushed the backs down onto the base post until we heard a click, indicating that everything is locked in place. It's time now to get the new carpet ready that will go under the new love seat. There were several female bolt holes in this light out floor. Six for the seat belts next to the back wall, and four more that held the previous couch in place. There is also an access panel to the screw rod of the slide out. The carpet will need to be cut around this panel, and then that cut out piece of carpet will be glued onto the wood panel, allowing easy access to the screw rod. Using some postal paper, we made a template, marking the location of the bolt holes and the access panel. Then it's just a matter of laying the template on the back of the replacement carpet and cutting slits for the bolt holes and the cutout for the access panel. Here's where we got happy feet and forgot to video the carpet installation. It was easy though, just throwing it down and stapling it to the slider deck with our Ryobi stapler. At this point, the chairs are already bolted down. Although you can't see them, there are slits cut in the carpet that will allow us to put the seat belts back where they were before. After several test sittings and reclinings, we decided that we needed four and a half inches of clearance between the love seat and the back wall. That may sound like a lot, but after stretching out for a nice snooze, we found that we only had about an inch clearance from the back wall. Not a problem. This will work. A regular recliner couldn't do what this wall hugger love seat can. Here's a shot of the inner workings and the base of the love seat. There are plenty of places to bolt it to the floor. We were impressed with the workmanship and sturdiness of this design. In our next video, we will be installing the seat belts, fastening down the carpet edges, and installing more carpet under the dinette. Be sure and check back. See the comment section below for more information about the tools that we use and the furniture from RecPro.com. Thanks for watching our video.